Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Watching, you hear me? Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like a lot best of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? That's what I got. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's 
drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Sometime before we all grow old would be nice. Forgive me, it's all I can afford. Come on, at least make it interesting. Look at these. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Come to me. Shit. Ah, oh, it's just too bad. Just settle down. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot? Priest wandering about. Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Reverend! Mr. Morgan! Calm down! Hands oh, your hands. Get your hands off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! You bastard! Okay, please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. 
You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just just please let me go. Good. Get the hell out of here. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Done with your foot! It appears to like this place. And what's stay? Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh no, you what the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Shot it back there. Hi, Uncle. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. You all right? Okay. 
considering. I wish I felt the same. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hey there. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? <sighs> you got your binoculars? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. these trees I can't get a proper look at the place well hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too 
coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. I'm one's mouth. Don't score notions of the Diffie Fleming's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can lollygag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Here. Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. 
Sounds good. Smooth. So
Yep. It's me! 